So talk to us about the significance of these new initiatives and what impact you hope they will have. So, you know, search interest in sustainable action is really at an all time high. And we know that people are looking to make more sustainable choices. Uh, so last year, as part of our third decade of climate action at Google, we committed to help a billion people to make new sustainable choices by 2022. And what we found is one of the biggest obstacles is that people don't have the information or the tools necessary. And so this is really where we feel like our products can come in. And today we announced new features across search, maps, nest, travel. We're helping people to understand the carbon footprint of their travel, giving them useful context, making people aware of more fuel efficient routes or appliances where they're available, and even making it easy to support clean energy right from home. So we really think the best way uh, for us to be helpful is to make the sustainable choice the easiest choice. How will you identify the most fuel efficient dryer? For example, is Google doing its own research to elevate certain products? Yeah, so when it comes uh, to Google Shopping, what we're doing is we're showing people when they're going to make uh, a large purchase for um, a home appliance. So that could be something like a furnace, a hot water heater. Uh, we're giving them helpful information on ways that they can find solutions that are more cost effective and more sustainable. And so those suggestions will appear right in the search function and then people can click on them to learn more about the choices that they have. And you obviously have Google Maps, you have Waze. How do you determine the most fuel efficient route? Yes, so one of the other features uh, that launched today here in the US is uh, eco-friendly routing. And so, you know, oftentimes what we find is the fastest route is also the most fuel efficient route. Um, and also when it's not, we'll now show you if a more efficient route is available and help you understand the impact right in the app. So you can choose if an eco-friendly option makes sense for you. And what we estimate is that making this change uh, can save an equivalent amount of carbon to taking 200,000 cars off the road every year. Hmm. So you know, talk to us about how you are going to quantify this, how you will measure success. So for us, you know, this is all about, first and foremost, making the sustainable choice the easier choice. So we want to look at reach. We want to ensure that we're working towards reaching a billion people for new sustainable actions. But also we want to quantify the impact. So I mentioned, you know, with eco routes, we're looking at an equivalent amount of reductions to taking 200,000 cars off the road. We also have products like Nest. The Nest Learning Thermostat has already saved over 8 billion kilowatt hours of energy for our customers. And that's before today's announcement of our new Nest Renew feature, um, which is a service that's going to help people automatically switch heating and cooling electricity usage to times of day when energy is cleaner. Curious if at some point you might disclose Nest sales. I, I don't believe you share that number yet. And how Nest actually impacts the power grid. Yeah, so uh, no news today on Nest sales, but certainly it's been uh, a darling of our sustainability product line for a long time. And again, I think a really powerful way to show both impact and to give people opportunities to save energy and to save money on their utility bills. So, you know, Nest has been a great product for a long time, but with the new Renew feature, we're excited about energy shift. And we're also excited about another new feature called premium, which lets people match their fossil fuel electricity use with renewable energy credits from the same projects in Google's high quality energy portfolio just for $10 a month. The SEC, meantime, is lasering in on greenwashing. And I wonder, what does Google want to see the SEC do there? You've got a lot of companies out there that are claiming, you know, these green initiatives that maybe aren't as green or as helpful as they appear to be. We think that it is critical to drive positive impact and choice. So everything that we've announced today is all about giving people helpful information and making it easier and really putting those useful features right in our products um, in ways that provide that option. So whether it's the fuel efficient route, whether it's the greenest flight, we think it's critical to have useful and high quality information. And that's really what we're gonna stay focused on. So we've also got COP26 coming up, you know, you know, and every year Google is seems to be trying to move the ball forward. Where do you hope Google will be by 2030 when it comes to all of these 
initiatives that you're putting into place now? Yes, COP26 is, of course, uh, a really important moment on the calendar, just 25 days away. And we were proud today for our CEO, Sundar Pichai, to join uh, 28 other CEOs in the Glasgow, in the uh, Business for Glasgow letter that's showing us the support of business for a strong outcome at COP. Here at Google, you know, we are laser focused on our third decade of climate action uh, with our goal to reach 24 by 7 carbon free energy for our operations by 2030. And then this nearer term goal we've been talking about today to enable a billion new sustainable actions by 2022. And really today's announcements are just the beginning.